So this is topic 10 for pre-calc, and we're just going to go back and forth between um, imaginary form and cis form for imaginary numbers, A plus BI and R cis. So A plus BI is basically a rectangular form where we have an A and a B um, axis. So if I had the uh, if I had the imaginary number 3 minus, let's say negative 3 uh, minus 4i, that would be back 3 down 4, so that would be here. And then um, our cis theta, those forms, it's the same idea where it's um, a rotation of theta and then a distance of r. And again, you, you still have the a and the i, uh, the b, you have the real and the imaginary uh, component. So let's go back and forth between these forms. And it's the same as going, you know, basically this is rectangular and this is polar. So it's the same as going back and forth between those two forms. So if I had this uh, negative 3 minus 4i, that, in this complex plane, that would be the point negative 3, negative 4. And uh, if I want to write it as r cis theta, I know, need to know r and I need to know theta. So r, I know that r squared is uh, negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. So that would be 9 plus 16 r squared is 25, so r must be 5. So I know my r part, and to get my theta, I'm going to go inverse tangent of y over x. So I'll grab my calculator. I get uh, 53.13 degrees. Now I notice that this right here is actually 53.13 degrees. So if, if my point had actually been here, which would have been positive 3, positive 4, I would use that value. But it doesn't. It, my, my point's here. So this is 180. So I'm going to add 180 to that. So 180 plus that. And that'll give me my actual degrees, which would be um, about 233.13 degrees. So this converts to R5 cis. 233.13 degrees. And remember the cis, what the cis means is um, cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta. So notice how we have, we have r times that. So it's basically r cosine theta and r i sine theta or r sine theta i. So it's really just converting. It, this actually tells you how to convert in the other direction. So, for example, let's say I had an imaginary number that was expressed as 3 cis uh, 150 degrees. This cis 150, remember, what it, what it is, is is cosine 150 degrees plus i times sine 150 degrees. And so if I distribute that 3 into there, I have 3 cos 150 and 3 sine 150 times i, there's my x and there's my, my y value. So let me see, 3 times cosine of 150 is about negative 2.60. And 3 times sine 150 is about 1 point, is 1 1.5. But notice I'm not converting it just to the point. I'm trying to convert it to the imaginary number, that plus that I. All right, so there is my imaginary number right there in A plus B I form.